Welcome to another session in Pro Engineer. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about patterns in Pro Engineer, mainly about three types. The first type will be rotational, the second type will be bidirectional, and the third type will be cell pattern. We'll start with creating a rotational protrusion pattern. Select protrusion. While it's selected, you could click on the pattern icon or right mouse click and select pattern. As the dashboard opens, select access and either from the work screen you can select this axis or select base axis from the model tree. Now we need this to be nine instances, so type in nine. Now what this is saying here is 90 degrees between each instance. Now if you need the nine instances all around 360 degrees to be equally spaced, click on this icon. Now as you notice, some of the instances are outside the part, so click those off. As you click these off, the software will not regenerate them. As a matter of fact, I'm going to just, just to show you, what happens if I don't click them off? You can see the protrusion projected on 360 degrees. What we need in this tutorial is to click these four off. The pattern, right mouse click, edit definition, and click one, two, three, and four off, accept. Next, we'll be patterning this cut. We'll go to the model tree, right mouse click, select pattern, change the type to axis. Select the same axis. I'm going to select it from the work screen here. And for this cut, we we'll need seven instances spread around 360 degrees equally spaced. And as you view, you'll notice there is four instances that we don't need. So I'm going to click those off. and accept. Next we have multiple features on the model tree. We need to group them so either you click on rod, hold the control button down and individually select each of those four features. Or another way is to select the first, hold down the shift key and select the last one right mouse click and select group. Now you can see that all these features have been grouped as if they were one. Now double click into the name and change the name to pattern. Now what happens here is this group is going to be treated as one feature by Pro Engineer. So to pattern this group, select the pattern on the model tree, click on the pattern icon, Keep the type to dimension. Click on the dimension here. For the first dimension, we need to choose this dimension here. Click inside the dimension collector here, and it changes to a bit of a darker color. You may not be able to notice it. You can't see it on my screen, but this is white, and this is somewhat a little bit off-white, maybe a beige. Now, the easiest way to select a dimension is to click into its numerical value. This is for dimension one. So I'm going to select the first dimension here. What this does is it tells the software the direction we need to increment in this direction, up and down. And the increment in this case will be 1.85. And that was three instances. Now click into the second direction collector and select this dimension. 
the increment for this direction is 1.2 and we need four instances now you could see on the work screen here that you have 12 instances and that's 3 times 4 and accept now if you look back on the model tree you'll see a whole bunch of groups regenerated now if you ask do you really need to know how to pattern yes absolutely if you like saving time and effort you definitely need to, to learn how to do patterns but as imagine doing each one of these is a group and it has four features into it you multiply that by 12 and that's how many you have to pattern individually and then the next pattern you'll see that gets even worse the next pattern is called a fill pattern this little knob on the back of the port right here let me turn the axis display off so you can see it. it's right here and it's called a knob so select the knob right mouse click and select pattern or click on the pattern icon Now the software needs to know what to fill, so we'll ask you to sketch, unless there is a sketch. If there is a sketch already prepared, you may just select the sketch of the model tree. Otherwise, click on Reference and Define. For the sketch and plane, select the bottom surface. And it doesn't really matter what else you select, so just click on Sketch. Well, it's very important to reference these two edges, the long edges rather, not the smaller edges. So click on Sketch, References, change your filter to Edge, select this edge, then select this edge, and you're done. Now you have these edges and you could use the offset edge. Select a loop and select the first edge and there you go accept the sketch now there is more than one way to arrange that pattern there is a diamond watch the white circles how they change triangles circles curve which goes around the selected curve and spiral each one of these has its own parameters for our intents and purposes we need it to be a square and we need to set the distance between the centers of each instance to 0.85 and we need to set the distance between the center and the edge of the part to 0.35 notice if you set this to a negative value it would create instances outside the port accept and build and if you look at this new pattern it has a bunch now would you really want to make these individually absolutely not so learn how to do patterns that would help you a great deal